Right, okay, you'll start. Hmm, okay. So, I've got ace, king, queen of hearts, five, six, seven, eight of clubs. That's me out. You're, yes, you're not. I'm the winner. I was the first to get out. I've got 50 points. But I've only got plus 15 and I've got to get rid of. No. So I've got minus 30 points. Uh, what have you got? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105 points. 105 points. I'm the winner. I was first. What's that? It's the rules of the game. What did it say? <laughs> You better read it. The first will be last, and the last will be first. That means, because you came first, you're actually last. And because I came last, I'm actually first, which makes me the winner. I'm the winner. I've got the most points. I'm the greatest. Oh. You thought you were so great in that game just then. <laughs> yeah, until you read me the rules. The first will be last, and the last will be first. Hmm. hmm. But what do you think it means to be great? Well, I suppose if you're the best runner or you get top marks in the test or if you have the most pocket money. I suppose some people think they're more special than other people because they're really good at games or because the mum and dad buy them expensive clothes. Or even because they have a better bike than anyone else. Maybe you know someone like that. <laughs> Two disciples of Jesus wanted to be the greatest and most important in God's kingdom, but they're going to learn a very surprising lesson. Mm. The lesson is, to be great in God's kingdom, you have to become a servant. It's exactly the opposite of what you'd expect, just like in our game. First will be last, and the last will be first. Every week, we've seen Jesus doing great and powerful things, but in God's kingdom, Greatness is used for helping others. Mm. In today's story from Mark's Gospel, these two disciples, James and John, want to be first. They're already part of the team Jesus <laughs> has picked, the team called the Twelve Disciples. But James and John wanted to be the two disciples. They wanted everyone to know they were extra special friends of Jesus, more special than any of the others. They wanted to be top bananas. They wanted to be great. Well, one day, when the other ten disciples weren't around, James and John went up to Jesus and they asked him, We want you to do whatever we ask. Now that's tricky, because if Jesus says, OK, then James and John might ask for something silly. I guess you've tried to do the same thing on your mum or dad. Yeah. But Jesus wasn't going to be fooled. So he asked them, what do you want me to do for you? James and John say, Well, let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. What they mean is, when you show the whole world how great you are, make sure we're there with you. When you show the world that you're the king, make sure you put us right <coughs> up at the front. They said, Give us the special seats, the reclining seats, so everyone will think we're special. <laughs> I have a feeling that when, when Jesus heard what they were saying, he just laughed. And he said to them, when you find out what I have to do to serve God and to be crowned as king, you really won't want to be there with me at all. He was talking about the way he would have to die for his people. But we'll find about, out about that more next week. Hmm. Now when the other ten disciples heard what James and John had secretly been trying to do, how do you think they felt? I, I guess they were so annoyed, they almost had steam coming out of their ears. They were annoyed because <laughs> they were jealous. Yeah. They were annoyed because they wanted the special places for themselves. They were upset that James and John beat them to it. Hmm. When Jesus heard them arguing, he called them together and this is what he said. You know, most rulers and kings are really bossy because they think that they are more important than the people that they rule. 
But God's kingdom is different. In God's kingdom, if you really want to be great, you've got to serve everybody else. Because God's kingdom is upside down. If you want to be first, you've got to be last. The people God thinks are really great are the ones who serve and help everybody else. Can you imagine what was going through the disciples' minds? Hmm. Think they were thinking, I'm not sure I want to be the most important person after all, if it means I have to be the servant of everybody else. And then Jesus says something that would have made them think very hard. He said, For even the Son of Man... The Son of Man is another special name for Jesus. Even the Son of Man didn't come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus had been doing everything that a great king would do, which is why the disciples wanted to hang around him. But now, Jesus says that being a great king in God's kingdom means giving up his life for everybody else. Instead of using his power to boss people around, he uses it to serve. And the most amazing way he does that is when he dies on a cross and takes the punishment for all our sins. Jesus doesn't want his followers to argue about who's the most important. He wants his followers to serve each other, just as he served us. God is pleased with us when we put others first. Sometimes this can be a really hard thing to do, mm. because we like to put ourselves first. I wonder... I wonder how you sometimes put yourself before others. I wonder in what ways you can turn that upside down and serve other people instead. Our song today reminds us that the great ones in God's kingdom are those who serve others instead of putting themselves first. Enjoy. Enjoy. The greatest in the kingdom are the servants. The greatest is the servant of a soul. Though he is our king, Jesus gave up everything, his life to death to free us from our sin. The greatest in the kingdom are the servants. The greatest is the servant of our soul. Cause he is our king, we must Give up everything to love and serve and trust and follow Him. The greatest in the kingdom are the servants. The greatest is the servant of our soul. To be like our King, we must. Give up everything to love and serve each other just like you. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to be servants of one another. Help us to learn to put others first instead of putting others down in the way we speak to them and treat them. Thank you that Jesus was a king who came to serve his people. Help us to find opportunities to be servants this week. Amen. Amen. Why not join us in our interactive Lord's Prayer? When, when I, I touch, touch my head, I think, think of you, you Father, Father God. God. When, when I, I put, put my hands over my heart, heart I remember, I remember to show you my love. When I put my hands together, I ask you to come and make everything right. When I touch my mouth, 
I ask you to give us the food we need. When I bow my head, I say sorry for the wrong things I've done. When I lift my head, I know you forgive me. When I open my arms, I ask you to help me be friends with everyone. Amen. So what do we have to look forward to next week, Andy? Well, next week, I'm going to be really the greatest. I'm going to be a superhero. It's going to be a fun week. Bye for now. See you next time.